Hi, this is Prachi Tehlan. Um, I'm from Delhi and uh, I have been a sports person, a corporate woman and now an actor. So there's this very young girl, Sonam, uh, who is standing right close to me and she's sketching a charcoal art uh, which is on, on the journey of my life and uh, I haven't really heard about something like this and I'm really excited what is what she's going to design. So, so let's see how it comes out to be. <laughs> So Ati Modo brings me here today. <laughs> so it is always fun to work with her. She's a she's a very close friend of mine, and uh, and uh, she's a sweetheart. And this is her initiative, and she's quite creative in the terms that what she wants to keep trying with the kind of work she does. And obviously, other other than you know just designing wonderful um, footwear, you know this this is an initiative by her, and I wish her all the best. So, Swati brings me here. Thank you so much for that. Uh, actually, very interesting. Um, acting was never on the cards. I think destiny brought me into this industry. And uh, it was in 2015 December is when I got an offer from a very big production house of Bombay on my Facebook fan page, which was of a sports person. And uh, it was a random message and I was working for Accenture at that time. I completed my graduation, uh, post-graduation. And uh, uh, you know, this random message comes and I was like, acting or mujhe, and I was like, aisi koi fake hoga. Kuch to fake hoga. But then, um, uh, you know, I spoke to a couple of friends of mine, my cousin uh, from Bombay who is in the industry and they told me that what's the harm in at least meeting the person or just talking to them, the, the girl who messaged me. So I spoke to them and they convinced me to come to Bombay for an audition and that was the day and today is the day that you know it was just three days which changed my life entirely and I became an actor. Okay, so honestly, uh, neither I planned to be a sports person, neither I planned that I would be working for a, a corporate company like Accenture or Deloitte or Development Bank of Singapore and neither acting was on the cards. So I think uh, I have literally been blessed to get a lot of big and uh, larger than life opportunities and uh, yes I have worked very hard to make the best of them and have reached till here. So sports uh, journey began when I was in class 6th. So I was have always been tall and you know people uh, they tell me, Are, yaar, Prachi, tu kitti lambi hai. To main unko bo or tu is wajah se teri height lambi hui hai because you used to play basketball. So, so I, I always tell them that it is the other way round. Ki main lambi thi is wajah se main khelli. So, <laughs> so I've always been tall. I've been privileged that ways and. Uh, I started playing when I was in 6th and I played uh, basketball for Delhi for 8 years and uh, it, when I was in college I did my graduation from GSN Mary BCom Honours and uh, netball is 
a sport which happened to me in co- during college days and uh, when randomly i was you know thrown in the team of netball to play an inter college tournament and uh, wherein i was selected for the national camp for the commonwealth games 2010 there and uh, that's when the real journey began of representing country uh, in netball and obviously becoming later on uh, becoming the ca- youngest captain of the indian netball team So I played netball for four years for India, and uh, yes, uh, being the captain of the Indian netball team in Commonwealth Games was uh, one of the biggest dream which came true. And uh, throughout the time when I started playing netball, you know, when I was in the camp, when there were seventy girls in the camp, and you aspire to, you know, be in the team first, and then. Uh, once you know that you know you you've acquired a place for yourself then you you know you want to lead your team so yes that also happened with me and also indian team won its first silver medal under my captaincy in south asian beach games in 2011 uh after that because there were not a lot of opportunities in terms of you know having a good sports career and i always wanted to have a career in sports management so i you know i decided to do my mba and uh, post the completion of my mba i got through accenture and i was working for accenture when when acting happened to me and uh, yes i mean journey has been quite unpredictable that i was you know thinking about something and something else was been destined and planned for me and you know i i just went with the flow i took everything as a challenge i i took risks to you know keep on changing my career so frequently i mean you know at the age of 26 this is the third profession i am in and uh, uh, honestly life has been quite unpredictable quite adventurous and uh, and i i completely feel blessed and i've actually taken risks i have gone out of the way to you know take the risk to jump my profession jump the cities and you know start everything from the scratch whatever i am today whatever I, whatever i've done till date i am really thoroughly <laughs> enjoying it and i'm uh, living the best of my life So honestly Prachi dreamt of becoming a lot of things she wanted to <laughs> she wanted to be an artist she wanted to join an army she wanted to be a pilot she wanted to uh, you know participate in miss universe and you know won, win the title and none of that could happen because i was very bad in science <laughs> and uh, parents never allowed me to participate in any of these uh, contests because you know they were like ke bikini pehni padegi chote kapde and you know you're from the art background society is not going to accept it parents i mean dad is not going to allow it what will people say you know all those kind of problems were there so yes uh, i mean that never happened but i am so glad that uh, this industry entertainment industry happened to me in a more beautiful way way becoming an actor which is far more challenging uh, and also i ended up representing india in sports so somewhere you know whatever i aspired uh exactly the same thing didn't happen but you know i represented india in sports and then i also became the part of the entertainment industry so that did happen in some or the other way so yes it's <laughs> I don't think there is any uh, hidden formula for success. Um sometimes you feel that you know uh, you you can you want to achieve it next year or in couple of years but that fr- time frame is something which you can't decide. I mean you just need to be mentally very very strong and you just need to have the persistence and you know the vision where we have to reach in your career and where and uh, you know what your ambition is i think that is very important to be very clear in your head uh, to be able to make right choices to be able to put your uh, you know mind and energy to the right uh, places in terms of your hard work so you know i think it's a mixture of everything and also uh, hard work is one thing then there is another thing which i feel is very important is destiny i mean you know there are certain things which are not in your hands i mean um like you know i really wanted to uh, be a senior manager or a ceo in accenture and then this uh, crazy opportunity of acting came to me and then i was like 
तीन दिन के अंदर एक्सेंचर भी छोड़ना है दिल्ली भी छोड़नी है और एक नई प्रोफेशन में भी जाना चाहते सबको जीरो से स्टार्ट करना पड़ेगा सो आई थिंक आई हैव बीन क्वाइट फॉर्चुनेट टू बी एबल टू हैव दैट पुश इन माई लाइफ दैट मोटिवेशन इन माई लाइफ कि नहीं यार कुछ भी आएगा मैं कर लूंगी सो सो दैट हैज बीन क्वाइट इंटरेस्टिंग एंड यू नो एंड टूडे हियर आई एम आई थिंक आई हैव गुड सिक्स सेवन प्रोजेक्ट एंड माई किटी विच विच हैज विच हैव बीन रिलीज एंड विच आर गोइंग टू रिलीज नाउ एंड अगेन आई फील ब्लेस्ड एंड आई थिंक इट्स द कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ बोथ द थिंग्स ओनली डेस्टिनी एंड गॉड इज नॉट गोइंग टू हेल्प यू इफ यू आर गोइंग टू हेल्प यूर सेल्फ एंड आई थिंक Honesty and purity in your, um, you know, uh, work in your passion is very, very important. I uh, don't think it has really taken away something from me. I um, always had very few friends. Now I don't have friends at all. Is the only, only uh, uh, you know difference. Because uh, you know everybody is so so much into themselves. They're working on different different projects at the same time. But the beauty of this industry is that when you're working for a film or a project at at one time, so everybody works like a family. I mean, you know, uh, you're staying together, you're working together for hours, for months, or you know, for weeks, and then uh, uh, you you seeing the same people every day on the sets. You're having food with them you're fighting with them you are you know you at, at the end of the day you have to work as a team so i think this industry has given me a lot rather than taking anything away from me um i don't think it has taken anything away from me it has given me that confidence to face the camera it has given me the confidence to speak it has given me the confidence uh, to tell people what uh, prachi really is about uh so i remember that at a very early stage uh, in my life when i was in class 6 or 7th i just started playing basketball uh, i had my national trials at national stadium in delhi or us time pe phone nahi hote the and meri jo friend ke jo granddad the grandfather the unko hame drop karne aana tha aur hum log late ho gaye the ghar pe and there was no uh, mode of communication so uh, and my parents were like really tense and when i went back home mujhe bahut dard padi and uh, you know my dad was like hey, now you're not going to play and hum kahin nahi jaane denge aur ye kya time hota hai hum kabhi bhi wo bare and you know all that drama happened at home uh so i and i cried a lot that day i still remember uh, maine jhoot bola tha ghar pe ki mera selection ho gaya to ab main back out nahi kar sakti so and i had to you know like literally uh, dad was not talking to me for days and i had to convince him that nahi i have to play i want to play i made my coach um, mr pankaj from sachdeva public school speak to my dad and you know uh, he was also a jart so jart jart connection he somehow convinced uh, my father and uh, that was one lie which actually uh, you know made me play basketball for delhi for like eight years i mean i still remember and ha uh, matlab parents ki ek mentality hoti hai ladkiyon ko lekar ki ladkiyan teacher ki agar job lag jati hai to jbt kar lo 12th hote hi teacher ki job lag, uh, lag jayegi to fir ek achhi settled life hogi subah jaldi ghar pe jao ghar, ghar pe jaldi aa jao apna job khatam karke bhi so you can you know be working also and at the same time you can take care of your family also so th- my family had typical thing thinking like that but i was the one who kept fighting 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 after 12 uh, i you know that was the year jab jbt mein uh, sports quota mein mera admission ho gaya so there was no entrance as well and uh, and i was like ke dar to bahut aasani se ho gaya ab to matlab i uh, i'll be pushed to do this and uh, but i was so good at sports that you know there were so many colleges there was tpns src cgs and mary ip college they all the colleges were ready Uh, for the admission, and I had applied there, but uh, finally it happened in Jesus and Mary, and I told my parents that I want to do graduation. And उस time पर भी मेरी पापा से लड़ाई हुई थी, because I still remember I stayed North Delhi and uh, JNC is in South Delhi. So पापा ने बोला था कि मैं छोड़ने नहीं जाऊँगा. You're not going to get any uh, uh, you know private 
uh, transport of yours, no car, nothing. If you want to travel, you travel in bus or you know you travel in public transport, take metro, whatever. So I told him, I don't want anything from you. I'm going to travel in bus, and I still remember 4:42 route par main roads north uh, uh, campus se, apne ghar ke ghar se, main south campus bus mein jaati thi aur. मुझे जल्दी जाना पड़ता था बिकॉज वी बींग स्पोर्ट्स पर्सन यूज टू हैव आर प्रैक्टिस सेशन बिफोर दिस कॉलेज यूज टू स्टार्ट आई हैड टू रीच बट एम इन द मॉर्निंग टू बी एबल टू प्रैक्टिस टिल सेवन थर्टी एंड देन अटेंड द कॉलेज सो हाँ मतलब उस टाइम पे आई स्टिल रिमेंबर के फिर लगता था यार क्या मतलब लड़कियों को क्यों इतना यू नो इतनी स्ट्रगल इतना हर चीज़ पे कन्विंस क्यों करना पड़ता है पेरेंट्स को नहीं कि हम कर सकते हैं नहीं हमें करना चाहते हैं बट बट आई विल ऑल्सो से दैट थोड़ा सा इनिशिएटिव थोड़ा सा कुछ आई वॉन्ट आई वॉन्ट ब्लेम माई पेरेंट्स बिकॉज द काइंड ऑफ बैकग्राउंड दे हैड द काइंड ऑफ जनरेशन दे वर कमिंग फ्रॉम द काइंड ऑफ सोसाइटी दे दे बॉट इन टू आई थिंक उनके उनके पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से अपने बेटी का करियर सिक्योर करना वॉज ऑल्सो अ राइट थिंग बट येस आई मीन जनरेशन गैप इज देयर एवरीबडी हैज अर ओन एस्पिरेशन मैं एज अ स्पोर्ट्स पर्सन इतना आउट गोइंग रही थी एंड यू नो आई प्लेड सो मच आई इंट्रैक्टेड विद सो मेनी पीपल दैट माई my aspirations were entirely different which probably my family couldn't understand at that time so but yes eventually everything turned out to be really good and uh, you know today i when i come back home after days when i uh, when i see my dadi especially my dadi and she is like hey, you know you are the you are the um, boy of our family and you you know who is uh, bought laurels to our family and you know to jeeti rahe hamesha and you do whatever you want to do just you know just keep working hard and uh, keep making us feel proud so yes that that feels good <laughs> Oh, oh, it is, it is, <laughs> it is very close. I feel that so Sheila in Ekavan is is Prachi, and uh, Prachi in real life is more or less like Sushil. Just, just the difference is that Sushil is a Gujarati and Prachi, Prachi is a Jatni. <laughs> But uh, yes, I mean, um, even even my character in Dia or Bati Ham of Mustandi from Pakistan was uh, was very much like Prachi. And uh, Ekavan was another show, just me. Unko lambi. लड़की चाहिए थी जिसमें उनको टॉम बॉय की लड़की चाहिए थी सो दीज आर द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स विच विच कम विद मी वेरी नेचुरली बिकॉज आई बीन इन टू स्पोर्ट्स आई वॉज वेरी टॉम बॉयज हैड शॉर्ट हेयर सो एंड ऑब्वियसली गोज विदाउट सींग दैट आई एम रेडी टॉल एंड सो इट वॉज अ टेलर मेड रोल फॉर मी एंड and it was fun to play it i mean i uh, 51 mein show kiya hai that how a girl is brought up by four men in the family and if i relate it to prachi's personal life uh, prachi is uh, uh, a girl who is uh, who is the first girl born after three generations सो यू नो इवन जब मैं पैदा हुई तो मेरे आस पास जितने भी पापा के जो भाई थे कोई बहन नहीं थी तो मुझे जितने भी लोगों ने बड़ा किया वो सारे आदमी थे सो इक्यावन वॉज यू नो वेरी मच लाइक विथ प्राचीज पर्सनल लाइफ एंड इट वॉज वेरी मच फन डूइंग इक्यावन स्पेशली द पारिक फैमिली स्पेशली द फोर फादर्स फ्रॉम दादा मामा चाचा एंड मापा एंड माई कजन ब्रदर सो बहुत मजा आया करने में लगता ही नहीं था कि एक्टिंग कर रही हूँ एंड आई थिंक सुशील इज वन कैरेक्टर विच विल ऑलवेज बी वेरी वेरी क्लोज टू माई हार्ट सो आई स्टिल रिमेंबर गोइंग टू साउथ फॉर यू नो for my meetings meeting managers there and meeting agencies there in 2016 uh, at that time i did couple of ads and you know i came back to bombay i was uh, giving auditions and uh, two punjabi films happened to me at that time then ikyavan happened to me and jo maine meeting 2016 mein ki thi uske through there was this guy who reached out to me uh, while i was doing ikyavan last year uh, for mamangam and he told me that there is this big uh, uh, budgeted film Uh, which is named as Mamangam. It's a 50 crore budget film, and uh, uh, it is starring Mamuti. Mamuti sir is what I'll call him. Uh, he's the biggest superstar of Malayalam industry. So, uh, us, wo film ho rahi hai, and uh, we want to audition you for it. So, first, uh, you know, the director would want to meet you, and if if he likes you, then we'll like to audition. 
so i was doing a cab and i told them that whenever you're coming to bombay because it's quite uh, you know difficult for me to travel at this point of time so they came i met the director he liked uh, my profile then after a week or so it was 26 january that was the only day i i had a chutti and um, i told them that you know i'll be coming in the morning i'll have to leave in the evening because the next day i'll, ha- I'll be having my shoot so maine audition diya that was a crazy day subah mein gayi wahan par and there were you know three four more actresses there who would come from bombay for audition and uh, uh, i was the tallest there and they they had one costume which you know which every girl was wearing to mujhe to wo costume ekdam phasa hua tha matlab literally phasa hua tha and i was feeling uncomfortable and it was the reference to me, me which was given was uh, vidya balan from dirty picture so this um, character unni maya she uh, is an entertainer she is a devadasi and she is also a warrior and she is this intelligent woman who is the narrator of the film so obviously the main lead and um, and my audition was the first one because sabke paas time tha mujhe jaldi jana tha so we started and mujhe wo tight kapde malayalam ke dialogues de diye pehli baar i was coming because nobody gave any script while you know uh, while i was called there and it was like complete setup of you know camera 10 people behind the camera and this strange language it's like the difficult the most difficult in the language <laughs> and uh, you know main kisi na kisi tarah maine so i tried to say and obviously i couldn't you know even mug it up in that short period of time but i told them kya mujhe ek bar uh, iska meaning bata do main hindi mein karti because they what they really wanted to see in front of the camera was the confidence and the expressions so and the body language of a dancer and uh, so the director was uh, you know very nicely he explained everything so i did you know उस टाइम पे ऐसा होता पसीने छूट रहे थे लग रहा था कैसे क्या करूं कैसे करूं बिकॉज आई यू नो द पीपल हैव स्पेंड सो मच ऑफ मनी ऑन मी एंड आई हैव टू यू नो डिलीवर एंड आई हैव टू गो बिकॉज टाइम वाज आल्सो रनिंग सो आई डिड वॉट एवर आई कुड डू एंड आई लेफ्ट एंड आई वॉज क्रिपिंग आई वॉज क्राइंग के क्यों मतलब वाई डिड आई even go for the audition i mean this is not a kind of role i would like to do at such an early stage in my career it is so bold it is you know uh, i don't know if it's a right move i don't know even if i'll be able to just do able to do justice with a role like this which is like you know somebody like an anushka shetty was approached for this role so talk to everybody i spoke to everyone and i was telling them all the friends on the sets of ikyaman that bahut hi ganda audition hua yaar pata nahi mujhe samajh hi nahi aaya ki kya karu kya na karu and the next morning i get a call from the director saying that you have been shortlisted and i was like okay is this really happening so maine <laughs> i still remember my director se pucha sir um, uh, do you really liked it <laughs> so he's like uh, yes we liked it first of all you suit the character so well second of all you you are a very very quick learner is something which we really liked about you and you're very down to earth uh, so so see i mean that, that was not something I, which i was expecting to convert and it converted so this industry is so unpredictable and that was my baby steps to the south industry i mean you know then the entire process of uh, being uh, preparing for the role of unni maya began which included uh, you know uh, moini atam uh, learning moini atam learning uh, my malayalam dialogues while doing ikyavan it was like me working for 18 hours a day every day for at least a month and uh, you know then working with the top nosh people all the top technicians from the industry and it was a great great experience working with mamuka and uh, hats off to the producer who gave a newcomer like me a chance in this big film and um, you know i was told that or 30 or girls were auditioned for it and uh, uh, one of the two of the two biggest actresses of south were approached for this role and what they really did was got a new girl and that was me so the mamangam shooting started 51 usi time par khatam ho gaya i was fortunate because it would have been really difficult to do both the things at the same time so 51 khatam hua aur mamangam shuru hui and uh, bhai jab 
चीजें होनी होती है वो अपने आप ही होती है हमने एक महीना क्या मामांगम का शूट किया इन द मूवी गॉट ऑन होल्ड एंड आई इज लाइक वट डू आई डू नाउ एंड देन यू नो आई ट्राइड सर्चिंग फॉर another good projects in south then i got a te- telugu film which is which i'm doing with aman preet who is rakul preet's uh, brother so um i recently finished both the films mamangam the entire team was changed of w- what we started last year and we reshot the entire film this year again and finally now two posters have been out the teaser is going to be out soon so the telugu film will be releasing in september and um, most probably the mamangam uh, the the malayalam film mamangam will be released in october so yes it has been quite an adventurous and uh, a learning experience uh, starting my career down south uh see um the role of onni maya which i played in mamangam is a dream role for any good actor because uh, you know you get to perform you get to uh, fight and you also get to be glamorous and dance i think all these three things uh, hardly any actress would get in their you know first project in their debut project so um i would not like to type cast that this is a kind of role i would want to play i think that is very subjective in a way that how the script flows uh um, there is a possibility that there is a you know a big budgeted film with big heroes and big star cast with a very very important character which which really thrills you uh, thrills you or you know uh, brings uh, goosebumps while listening about that character and you really want to do this uh, do that specific role so i think that's very subjective and uh, if you ask me i would like to experiment myself as an actor because i believe that i'm not a bad actor as you've already heard me that uh, that i've i've been quite accepting what life offers me but yes at the same time i have been a go getter in uh you know in making my ambition so high that i want to be at the top in the specific field i am in so like when i started playing sports the the aspiration was always to be the skipper of the indian team and and i still you know will always say that that's the biggest achievement in my life no matter how big a star i'll be in this industry but uh, the feeling of representing your country uh, at of you know in a foreign land and singing your own national anthem uh, the uh, the the goosebumps and uh, the tears it gives in your eyes i think that that feeling is irreplaceable <laughs> so Swati just helped me out saying that you look like you know, my people look like dwarfs standing next to me so that's something absolutely not in my hands but I would la- love to carry her and take her everywhere if you I can <laughs> but yes I mean I I really don't think there's uh, something really specific to hate about Prachi because uh, because Prachi is all all happy go lucky <laughs> Uh, I can't imagine my my life without my family. I think, uh, losing my loved ones, I think it's the biggest fear. The ambitions are so high that uh, first of all, I really don't uh, feel that I am successful at all. I wherever I go, I I feel a little. you know nervous and a little shy when people ask for selfies or autographs and you know when they recognize me and then they you know talk acha yaar is lady ko dekha hua hai aur itni similar kaise ho sakti hai kahin to dekha hua hai so you know it is a little feeling of embarrassment for me um but yes i mean uh, it's a desire to be at a position where in where in you can you know make a substantial change not just in your life and your family's life but in society is what i really aspire to do and um, 
and Prachi is always going to be the same I mean I don't think that even after 10 years down the line you do the interview with me and I'm, I'm going to change people used to tell me in what it's almost seven eight years back when I played for India that you know you're going to change you become the captain of the Indian team and all of that but I'm still the same I mean nothing absolutely nothing has changed about me when I think it's it's people's pers perspective towards you which really changes people don't change I mean if if people um, if people's attitude towards me uh, changes, if they start treating me differently is when you know they feel oh, no, oh my god they've changed because I'm also going to feel awkward no why are you not being the same with me I mean why why are you treating me differently so I think it's it's just about it's a matter of perspective I don't think people are uh, very free in in our country in the terms what my definition of freedom is uh, even in my family you know I I still you know can give examples of uh, my cousins who got married at a very young age uh, I really don't know if they were really willing to do that but uh, yes you know it's just because parents wanted the society wanted because of because of them it is the right age for them to get married so they they got married though they're happy but uh, you know it's again very subjective to to the kind of life you have lived like i've been born and brought up in delhi uh, and uh, i've traveled so much so the way i think is obviously different from the way my cousins think or the other uh, people in my family think or for that matter even my parents think so uh, I really don't think that uh, people are very free in our country, especially uh, when we talk about women. Um, there's a long way to go to to have that kind of uh, freedom and to be able to take the decision of uh, you know keeping yourself happy in our society. But yet, at the same time, things are changing. I mean, uh, uh, you know. Uh, girls are raising their voice against the wrongs happening with them and uh, they are becoming more ambitious they are coming forward in every field and making name for themselves it's quite unreal that when we talk uh, you know uh, inside the industry about all these shows which are being made there are inspirational shows like the or bati hum which had the which had huge trp and it was you know one of the uh, top shows watched in you know in every house not just in india but outside india as well uh, and there are also shows like nagin which which i don't think bring bring, bring any relevance to our families in terms of motivating uh, you know women or motivating uh, men uh, in our country or uh, kids in our country so yes that it's it's uh, tv does have a huge impact because all the tier 2 cities have the major uh, view, viewership of all these shows which are sh uh, which are shown on tv and uh, um, but uh, I still remember two three days before there was somebody talking that we make inspirational shows when we get to see TRP and Nagin like shows. We make good content when we get to see TRP and uh, uh, you know, funny crocodile or makhi mein ban, uh, convert to jana. You know, us, un sab mein. So, that, so there is a glitch. I mean, yeah, to, you know, uh, you sh we should stop showing that kind of content so that we can only focus on this because people need entertainment at the end of the day jo hum dikhayenge unko log to wahi dekhenge na but we'll have to stop it at some point and i was fortunate to do both the shows of mine which were very very inspirational i think sushil was a uh, uh, i mean ikavan was a story of sushil and you know from you know she being brought up by four men in the family kaise wo bilkul bhi ladki ho jaisi nahi hai sushil nahi hai phir bhi you know uski ladki andar se to ladki hi hai aur kaise usko pyar ho jata hai kaise wo usko problems hoti hain sasural mein jaane ke baad shaadi ke baad and arzu ka bhi wahi tha ke 
जैसे एक मुश्ठंडी घर में जाती है उसको खाना बनाना नहीं आता उसको कोई भी घर का काम नहीं आता सो आई थिंक बोथ ऑफ देम आर वेरी वेरी इंस्पिरेशनल इन देर ओन वे एंड शोज लाइक दिस दीज शुड बी मेड मोर एंड शोज लाइक नागिन शुड नॉट बी मेड एट ऑल सॉरी एकता कपूर इज बिनो किल मी फॉर दिस so this is a road right uh, acha it's a reed okay sorry this is obviously kavan my show this looks like a basketball this curve and this is obviously me this is the indian flag and this is a uh, uh, what do we call it clap, clap yes and uh, what is this Okay, this is P with my initials, a star in the rising. Quite nice, so beautifully made. I'm going to get it framed. <laughs> Thank you so much. It was really a privilege today sharing my journey with all of you, and uh, I hope that I have inspired you a little bit. And I wish that your journey will be so inspiring and inspiring for all of you, and so encouraging and motivating for all of you. Uh, एक मैसेज जो मैं आप सबको देना चाहती हूँ कि uh, आपके दिमाग में एक अपना प्लान होना बहुत ज़रूरी है बट एट द सेम टाइम देर इज़ एन अदर फोर्स विच इज़ प्लानिंग प्रॉब्ली बिगर थिंग्स फॉर यू तो बिलीव इन दैट एंड समाइम टेक लिटिल रिस्क इन योर लाइफ एंड टेक सम बोल्ड डिसीजन बोल्ड स्टेप्स टू यू नो मेक योर लाइफ अ लिटिल आउट स्टैंडिंग एंड यू नो मोर ब्यूटिफुल इन योर ओन वे सो Thank you so much and all the best I love you all It's like uh, you found me inspirational in this video you will get to see a lot of more inspirational people on the same channel which is by uh, which is wiz by swati modo and you can find all the links below 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 somewhere somewhere below <laughs>